there's the star of the channel. So this is a barley field that I've planted alfalfa into and I guess I should tell you I haven't made a video for a while. The last couple weeks I work two days a week up at the big ranch that Ty works on for the summer going and doing brandings and then I leave it get up at 3 in the morning and catch my horse and get up there for 5.30 and work. We, used to, we brand 600 calves every day we brand, so. But I come off my horse, not this Wednesday, but last Wednesday, and got a concussion, had amnesia. Like, I don't, I don't forget everything, but I, I couldn't, I didn't remember what happened to me. I just knew I was riding and it hurt really bad, so I knew I fell off my horse. So I don't know what happened, if she, if we, she fell in a hole and we cartwheeled or whether she just plain bucked me off and, but I got one arm that's all kind of buggered up and shoulder and back and knee and everything that hurts really bad. And then of course the concussion and I'm not supposed to be riding or doing anything. So then of course last, this past week I went and branded two more days just to show that I was tough enough. Mama Bear wasn't quite as happy with me. So let's get back to business and I'll show you what we got going on here. If sniper stays out of the way. Oh, Snipey, we don't need your attention. Oh. So that is, oh dog, alfalfa plants that are coming up. Sniper just licked my phone, so. So when I, I borrowed a Case 5500 drill and it was, uh, it's only 10 foot wide and I mixed a bag. I normally get a blend that has grass in it and they didn't have that. So I just got straight alfalfa and then I bought, a, they sold me one bag of kind of a grass blend and it was meadow brome and different stuff. And I, I like brome. And so when I went to plant it, the, what happened was the, I mixed it in with the alfalfa and I should have just put it through the, the grain box, the grass seed, cause it plugged it off and I had an awful time. So I literally had to plant it twice to get enough seeds out. And I know that there was some, some uh, spots in the drill where they just didn't work. So if sniper could stay out of the way. So there's a row this way. And here's a row this way. So it looks like I've got to catch in places anyhow. So I, what I'm really concerned about is there's going to be spots where maybe half the drill wasn't even working. And I, I would, when I did it, when I planted the second time, I would make three rounds and then I'd go out with a screwdriver in the small seed box and I would just scratch it around and, and move it. And I see the color difference here. I did use the land roller on it and and then I land rolled like this only I only planted a quarter circle so like the other side I land rolled because I'm going to cut that for green feed but I got half a circle on the other side of the farm I was going to land roll but it was so big I didn't want to land roll it so kind of have to just be careful when we I mean, I just won't cut it for green feed, basically, is I'll just make sure that it, when I swath it for combine and I gotta stay high enough, and when I'm baling straw, I gotta be careful, because there are stones on this farm. So, I'm trying to see if there's another good spot we could look at. Well, here's, here's another spot where there's some more little alfalfa plants and stinky sniper. So we haven't had rain. The weather is what we call unsettled. So I'm hopeful that we could get some rain. I don't have much for, well, I don't have well, hardly anything. Hey, like for us, we call alfalfa and grass hay, that's hay. 
Like when we cut barley and oats and that stuff, we just call that green feed. So I don't have much for hay this year. Uh, the dry land hay that I haven't been able to do for the last couple of years because it's been too dry, I still don't have. So that's 200 acres I won't do. And uh, I've got a little bit of alfalfa to cut at the in-laws. So, and it's, it's never got irrigated. It's been very hard. Kidneys are shut down, that kind of stuff. So, I not to irrigate, but I needed, I hadn't even planted my crop yet. So it's all flowered out and a foot and a half tall. So that's one of those things where I gotta drive the tractor for an hour and a half to go and have a horrible crop and cut 10 acres of hay. And so then here's another little tiny field, but this will get cut today or tomorrow. Even if it rains, I don't care. It's just time to get it cut off. But I had to reseed some of this, so I thought I'd try to find, look at all those weeds, eh? Thought I'd see if I could find a spot where I planted. Oh no, that's all weeds. I thought that was a spot. Anyhow, I might have to shut the phone off and then go. So as you can see, it's pretty poor crop here. I mean, the, the grass is up to my chest, but it's thin. And then the alfalfa, in that blend, the alfalfa was only 30% of the blend. So there's a whole bunch of that grass that never ever came. You know, like the, this is AC Knolls. It's a meadow brome, smooth brome hybrid. It's very, very productive. But like I said, that's only one part of the thing. And then there's, I don't know what variety that is. I thought it was just quack grass, but it must be a, an intermediate wheatgrass or something because it's kind of spaced out more than just quack grass would be so I wasn't I wanted it to grow a while so here here's where part where I never reseeded but what happened last year is I I just seeded right into the stubble and then it was gonna blow away on me and I had half a bag of seed left over and I just mixed it in with the oats. So then I planted it. So what ended up growing the best was where I mixed the oats in and just that half a bag. So it more grew than just what was in the oats. Some of the seeds that were laying on the ground got mixed in with the drill. But as you can see, it's a little better here. The, the alfalfa is up to my hip. There are a few blossoms, but like I said, we're gonna knock it down here today or tomorrow. And like I said, if I get rained on, I get rained on. I'm not too worried. This is like a tiny little field. I mean, if I, if I get nine acres rained on, who the heck cares? So here's the barley. This is where I started planting that barley. And I planted a little pass of hay on this where these oats are, or oats, goodness sakes, my brain's gone soft. You can tell I have a concussion. So I did one pass, but my dad sprayed part of it. So anything that come up, he would have killed. So, but it's probably an alpha plant coming. So there might be something here. I only planted just cause the when I started planting like last year my dad killed some of this hay when he sprayed the corn so I'd stayed out a little bit and then I left too big of a spot so I thought oh heck I had still hay in the drill so I just made a pass so so this has all been sprayed and because it's going to be for combining uh, we sprayed for wild oats that quarter circle that I rolled that doesn't have any under seeding, I plant or uh, we just sprayed it with buckterlem just to kill the broadleaf weeds. Because I don't care if there's wild oats in it, I'm gonna cut and bale it. 
and I might as well just keep you on and show you what happens when your father cleans the sprayer out at the end of your field. My dad owns an old hardy sprayer and I have never used it because he'll never show me how to run it. It's as basic as the old school throw water and chemical in a tank and drive the right speed. Everything else has been, all the fancy stuff has been taken off of it. Half of the switches don't do anything. The booms can't fold in and, and shut off and do everything anymore. So. So might as well show you what my dad cleaning the sprayer out on my end of a barley field does. Because it killed it just fine. It is dead. Well, anyhow, back to my head injury. The, it's my second concussion of the year. So they were pretty concerned. Because I didn't remember coming off the horse, they sent me for a CAT scan, to make sure I didn't have a stroke or bleed on the brain. All that checked out. But like I said, that'd be dead barley. Kind of sad, really. I don't quite understand why he did that, but can't control what other people do. And here's my corn. So without with the concussion, I'm not supposed to have screen time or something. So I tried not to even watch too much YouTube, and so I wasn't going to make a video. But the corn's growing. It'll be knee high by the 1st of July. The funny part is that my corn is actually, it actually looks, well, I don't know if it's better, but it looks better than the neighbor's corn that was all zero tilled a month earlier than mine. But this corn, like this alfalfa here, I didn't want my dad to spray, but it happened anyway. But throughout this field, there was lots of alfalfa growing in it. And there was lots of uh, volunteer oats. Here's a double row where I turned around and came back and tried again to get it straightened out. But here I'll show you an oat spot where it was choking out pretty bad. Yeah, like I said, it's not far from being knee high. But you can see, like, that alfalfa plant did absolutely nothing. And yet this stuff was cooked. So, I think Dad had a problem with the sprayer here. Because this is a total miss. Yeah, this is a big sprayer miss here. So you can see the kind of crap that was coming here. But, like I said, that, this was barley that was, or barley. That concussion really shows. This is oats where I fed. But you can see how short the corn is. That's how choked down it was and how bad it needed to get sprayed and irrigated. So I have a few spots that are like this where it actually hurt the corn quite a bit. So, but when you spray two weeks late, that's what happens. You know, so you go from here and then you come out to where it was better and the corn looks pretty good. Anyhow, I was gonna add a bunch of stuff to this video, but I've yapped long enough, right Snipe? So, 
be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and take care. And I'll try to make you another video with some excitement in it.